Well, it happened today. The morsel spork arrived. Two of them, actually. Red and green. Or their uh, version of red, it's more of a pink or a salmon. The uh, My camera's washing it out a little bit. But this was a Kickstarter campaign that I had backed in early 2018. And today, October 18th, the uh, sporks arrived. So... They came nicely packaged, padded envelope, they have the, uh, I guess this is like the, the retail tags on here, little instruction manual card just shows that it's okay to, to use this in boiling water and it's dishwater safe, you don't want to apparently use it as a uh, utensil on a skillet or something, which is totally understandable, these are plastic sporks, but in my opinion, they are nicer than what I had expected. Um, it, it took a while to get these, and I kept thinking to myself, man, it's a plastic spork, you know, what's the, what's the deal? It's a plastic spork, but they are really nicely molded, and the rubber edge is so nicely done there's no there's virtually no seam here like i can't i can just barely get my nail in between the rubber edge and the plastic so that is really nice i was concerned that that edge was going to be a just a big catch for food and you know all the crap that you don't want building up um but that doesn't seem to be the case it is really really nicely molded And the fork tines are very usable on the on the spork head. Uh, if you've gotten sporks from Taco Bell or even like the Light My Spork ones, the the fork tines are. It's questionable how useful they are on those sporks, but this is really really nice. So these are actually a little bit bigger than what I had thought. Uh, so I've got a couple things to compare it to here. Let's just take a look at a normal size metal fork. You can see quite a bit bigger. The The spork head is wider and obviously the whole thing is longer. So let's just take a look at it with the intended purpose, a dehydrated meal bag. So this is the biggest one that I had, and I probably have about 20 of these laying around. This is the Backpacker's Pantry Pad Tie. So you can see. It's perfect, because there's the seam. You'd rip that top off, and the seam would be right there. So, plenty... Plenty long. There's, a, there's just the right amount of flex in this, too. Um... That was another concern that I had, that this would be just too flexible, but it, it's really, it's really great. So let's just compare it to a can of beer here. Roughly twice the length of a can of beer. Here's a thousand milliliter Nalgene. Gotta get a tripod. Um... Yeah, so it's, it's longer than a thousand milliliter Nalgene in theory. If you had soup or something in there, you very easily use this in, a, in that kind of application. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll try to do a video with an actual eating application. Maybe on my next camping adventure, or I'll, I'll make a video of it you actually in use with one of those dehydrated meal bags so you just get an idea of how that goes. So this was just the initial impressions. Uh, well worth the wait and uh, yeah so if you have any questions just let me know just comment below please subscribe thanks